relationships, but you're wrong. Listen, there's no magic bullet. I'm teaching life skills. When you're sick, you need medicine. It don't always taste good. Nah, but it'll get you better. You, 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 you need this medicine. Yeah. It ain't gonna always taste good, but this is what you need. Men and women, bottom line, we need to have the conversation. Your partner wants to give up control, but only if you know how to drive. This is about being the best you you could ever be, whoever you are. I don't care if you're a man, a woman, LGBTQ, space alien. I'll save anybody. I don't care. I'll teach a hedgehog how to have a threesome. What do you mean by that? Look, you don't have to listen to me, but you're wrong. Listen, I know I'm great, and I know you're thinking, Dante, there's no way I could be like you. But you could be me, you know why? Because you know who I was? Before I was me, I was you. you. Man school, 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. <laughs> I'm from Jamaica right now. Damn, so we got to we got to so we got to do we in quarantine you got to make the best of a bad situation. Oh, yeah, exactly. The problem <laughs> is I hate the fake background for Dante cuz he actually has a better real life background which is the studio. <laughs> so instead of just using the studio background, he wants to pretend he's on the moon so it looks like it looks like it's a uh I'm, fucking I cable like access it. show. Well, that's because now Dante's it's okay. Dante's out of this world. So how would you expect yes. him to I, Tell him Talk that shit. Talk that shit. Here you go. <laughs> Look how upset oh. Harry gets. <laughs> He's red. He's turning red. He really hates this so bad. He hates it. I mean, you know, what Andre, out. What Andre, <laughs> what Andre it. doesn't matter. He just, he just, he's learned. Andre has smoothed Harry down to like a, a, a really well, smooth pebble. <laughs> I've given up on Andre doing anything professional so he can't it, even stand still right now right yeah no, he doesn't. he's chewing eating sunflower seeds or corn chips <laughs> no nah, i'm trying my hardest man i'm just sitting it's, it's, i know it's a that's lot. the sad part it is you are trying your best this is the best you've got to offer you that's sitting for best. hours bro andre you were definitely a self-soothed baby like somebody <laughs> just left you in a crib and you just rocked it the fuck out <laughs> <laughs> Andre still rocks himself to sleep. <laughs> oh, it's pretty true. You can tell. Pretty you can true. tell when a kid was allowed to self suit versus those who were always pacified. <laughs> you go know, like this and then fall right. Yeah. Now. Yep. <laughs> All right, Dante, I've never ready? seen a nigga hug himself. Go. You I thought we was running already. We are hey, running please. technically, but do you want to do an official like? Yeah, all right. Here? We could do it now and just run it all the way through. All right. Uh, my yo, friend of the show, friend of mine, my girl, funny chick, actor, writer, all that good shit. You know, for Chloe. Hell yeah! Hey. Oh, hey. What's up, mama? How you doing? I'm good. It's hot over there, right? It's in so Jamaica, old. right? I know. I, I managed to escape on my private yacht, and we just skedaddled on down here to the <laughs> islands where the good queen made sure that we had space. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Well, you look like you got a tan. You got a little tan. No, uh, no, no, no tan. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> hey, what's, Chloe, what's going on? Where you got? You got a man yet? No, no. How, first of all, I you Corona? First of all, yeah, exactly. Corona. And oh, so I, it's done. But it was crazy before the corona. I well, you know, I was doing really so I was doing really good because I pretty much just had my two main guys whenever I needed to, you know, be get the get the dust knocked off. Yeah, yeah. Then I could call one of the two. But I had made a decision before all of this happened. I was like, you know what? I'm done. Like, I'm not going to keep stringing these guys along because I don't want anything from them. They don't want. And, you know, it's just like I wanted to free myself up for a real situation. And then fucking COVID. And now I'm in the house. <laughs> so you played yourself. Is that what you're saying, Chloe? Basically. <laughs> you played yourself. 
But also I think about it like even now, if I still was in good communication with them, I, they weren't, they're not worth me risking my life. Like I wouldn't go over there and creep with them. Cool. Like, you, 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 you call these fucking COVID niggas. <laughs> Just infected niggas. <laughs> Chloe's scared for a nigga to sneeze on a pussy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I mean, I do have good health insurance now, but still, I don't want to pay that premium for some dusty ass nigga. <laughs> If a guy goes down on you and he coughs, you're like, I hope that's one of my peers. Yo. This is the first time you're like, I hope. <laughs> you can't like that first cough. Like Yo, that first if cough. You in front of throat, somebody? Mm. Yeah. When nigga go to suck your titty and go, <clears throat> <laughs> nah. This I'm nigga got you. COVID all over my areolas. <laughs> now <laughs> with my you make, you make you got- him 69 <laughs> just so his face is away from you. <laughs> yep. That's right. I, mean, I actually thought I thought about it. I was like, how could you even go and creep at somebody's house? Like, are you having sex with the face mask on? And it's so funny because the porn people were quick. Like, there's so much porn yeah, out yeah, there yeah. with, with face the mask. mask on. Oh, what right. they was doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can't, I know I don't want to, I don't want to risk that. I don't want to do it. Chloe that. get some corona on a titty, right? On the areola, and then she got to wash her nipple for yeah, it's just sanitize it. Then you happy like, birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. Happy uh-huh. birthday to me. <laughs> Spermicide or something. Well, you don't well, want to rub, uh, you know, hand sanitizer <laughs> on your clit. Just clean it all. No, That's probably no. not a good idea. Chloe, no, Chloe hasn't talked to call me. Chloe used to call me all the time. Like, yo, let me. I haven't heard from you in a long Dante, time. Dante, you are lying. You are <laughs> lying. No, no, no. I don't mean. I don't mean talking, talking. I'm saying, like, yo, when you used to call me up to bounce shit off me well, about some dude. I have talked to you. I have hit you up. I mean, there's no dude, but I have hit you up since we've been in uh, self isolation and all that stuff. No, but not about no. I'm saying that's I'm just talking about with Chloe. We yeah. all talk and text. I'm not saying you like ghosted me. Oh, I'm, no, I'm no. like, Chloe got some you trying to play me shit today. No, right? no, 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 no. I was just I want to make sure you're not trying to throw me under no, the bus. No, I would never we do ha- that. We no. haven't had a good in-depth conversation in a while. I will admit that. Yeah, but it hasn't really been anything going on. Cause, That's you know, what you I'm had, saying. Yeah, you had your baby and then you just been. Yeah, you know, but you would have hit me. Oh, so you would have if you did you have something going and just was like being because Chloe's considerate. She's no. a sweetheart. Well, and she's I, like, let me not hit this nigga up when he got, you know, raising yeah, yeah, yeah. a baby. I definitely, I definitely um, didn't contact you like the first like couple months just because I know you, it's it's so, because first of all, I've grew up, my brother is 15 years younger than me. So I know what it's like to have a kid in the house, like a baby in the house. Right, right. And so I know a lot of times people call you with those goofy questions. Like, so how is it? How do you feel? That's why you're like, nigga, we alive. Like, I I don't have a, you know, it's just being older. I just don't make the stupid mistakes. You know what I mean? It just, mm-hmm. I, I know what this looks like. I know where this is at. And she's so, such an amazing mom. Like, I mean, she's yeah. on it. Like, she's on it. Like, this, mm-hmm. her having this baby was her dream. Aww. And, and, and so she's so, I, I say this not in the fact that I wouldn't do it, but I, I think I've only turned, I've only changed 10 diapers. And not because I wouldn't do it, just because <laughs> Chloe's she's just so on it. Yeah, like no, she see so, that though. Yes, yeah, she's so on it, you know. And then I, you know, I got, I got, I got. We we got into a thing because I, I didn't put his hand in the in the sleeve properly. Like you yanked his hand up. No, I. Think I Had the nigga. No, nah, I just I told the nigga punch it out, punch it. I put the shirt over his head. <laughs> Like, oh, so like the sleeve is all fucked up instead of no, you open it up and making it right. easy. You, know you, you wanted him to. You know how you scrunch it up and then you pull it his over. Way through. So we was just chilling on the couch. So I was like, I'm, I'll am i put it in and then I just worked it down, worked it down. And then she was like, that's that's not how you do it. I was like, I think the problem was you like, shall quit being a bitch and put your fingers <laughs> through. <laughs> that was the problem. Man up, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I, I know how a shirt works. I know how undershirts work. Like, so. Nah, but then baby joints be different, though. No, yeah. then they're not. Dre. What is so, <laughs> so Dante? What is what is the thing that that is going to be your thing? Like, you know, like you know, she def, You said your wife came into motherhood and she's taking care of everything. But like in your mind, like, what's the thing? Like, no, I gotta be the one to do this with. 
Okay. Well, I already do it. Like I'm, I rough him up. Like her energy is real. And mine's like, yo, what's up? Like, <laughs> like yo, what's popping? Yo, you chill. And I press him over my head, and you know, with one yeah. hand, I toss him around, slam him on the bed a little bit. He knows my. And I, when I rub him, I like rub him like I'm rough with him. Mm -hmm. Like I massage more than a. Yeah. I'm giving baby massages. There's no pats. There's a lot of. No, even when I pat, but you, it's like, ooh, 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 ooh. you can hear it. <laughs> You're giving them uppercuts. I mean, play Little a mad baby. baby. I play a, I'm play a mean baby. Then, well, sometimes you take the medicine ball and you just drop it on his abs repeatedly. I mean, right? You got to toughen him up. You, you know what, Dante? You trying to spot like, the baby? Yeah, you're gonna look like that that like Middle Eastern, not Middle Eastern, not like Eastern European dad with his kid who's like flipping off of all of the furniture and like Oh yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that. The little kid is like six or seven, but he's like ripped, like abs. Oh and yeah. All of oh that. that dude, oh the one that does the handstand push ups. I yeah. see it. Yeah, um so that that's my thing. He knows my energy. Like when she goes to put him down, everything he does is uh like the house it has to be pitch black and silent and there's no tv and oh no, that's what she said that's what she no, said that's what she said no leds and i'm like yo if you just do that he gonna be light sleeper yeah so what i do is i i rock him to sleep and then i i watch boxing or wrestling and then every couple minutes he goes deeper and i crank it up louder like, so by the time, by the time I'm finished, I'm up to like 58 on the TV and he's blaring, but he's like out, he's knocked out. Yeah. But when she, when I put him down, cause he's used to the stimulus, he mm -hmm. stays asleep. When she puts him down, as soon as she don't, she's not cuddling, yeah. he wake up and he, I'm oh, like, wow. I, I'm like, all right, we'll You go. just stress your baby out. <laughs> and then the nigga just for my, stay there. For my personal comfort. Yes. Oh, it's <laughs> smart to do that. My Baby brother's... laying down like. Yeah. Well, you know, people do that all the time. They, you know, they, they like make it hard for the kid so that they don't have to deal with it later on. So it's like they I toughen mean, you up. I don't think you make it, but, like yeah, but you, you got to, I mean, I think you got to raise your kid how you want them to be in uh, as an adult. Like how many yeah. niggas you know that you've dated who you was like, this, like, you don't He's know this. Coddled. He's like you, coddled, yeah. like you really don't notice. Like you don't know, like you don't, you you're not mm -hmm. shaving your balls. You don't groom your balls or nothing. Like what? It's like you a grown ass man, and it's because they get coddled. They get coddled. Yeah. So my my thing is, I push him. You know, put I push him to do shit. Like I'll, you know, sometimes I hang him upside down by ankle every once in a while. You make him do he, sit ups. He like yeah. Well, he likes. He's a boss dude. <laughs> he's. he's <laughs> I'm Why are you just, training your baby like blood sport? It's not because right niggas, have you seen it out there, my dude? Have I you seen it? Bamboo in the back. What's gonna happen when Trump when Trump <laughs> lose, when Trump lose and he don't he decide he's not leaving? Mm. You better be training your baby. <laughs> you have little babies at the front line of the revolution. <laughs> Work on them right now. I was fucking. Got to train your baby. It's cool, though. But, you know, it's what I find is I use the same principles of, um, you know, that I would use for relationships. It's all, like, the same because it's still a relationship. Like, like um, what was that, what's that weird dude that you was dating before who you was, like, you know, <laughs> oh, this yeah, nigga, yeah. You, 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 some called this nigga was a cokehead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yep. On the first date, he goes to call, call you. What did he say? So for? we, so we went out to, <laughs> we went out to dinner, and while we were sitting there having dinner, just like over a conversation, he goes, "Have you ever done cocaine?" And I was like, "No." <laughs> and he goes, "Oh." I was like, "Have you?" He was like, "Yeah, I've done it a couple times. I don't do it anymore." And I was like, oh, "Okay." Uh -huh. Yeah, that's that's why we that's leading why. off with this. Yeah, it's a weird right icebreaker. Over my eggs. Yeah, right over dinner. <laughs> So how did you do that booger sugar? Oh, it ended like I mean, and it's weird because even six after later. that, no, 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 <laughs> like I would probably say in like the bathroom doing a line. six, like six to eight weeks later, because you yeah. know I didn't see I didn't see him enough. Like we would see, we started seeing each other like once every other week, and then once a week. Did y'all knock it down or no? You was you was fucking. He had work? a he had erectile dysfunction. So oh, that's what you told me, and I was like, yes, well, he's doing a lot of blow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oof. And that she was is. me trying to date like a regular person, and that's why I'll never that's... do that again. Damn. Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? Drugs, that you kids. thought he was a regular person, but he's no, not, Chloe. No, you no, understand no. it. No, no, no. I'm saying like my the dating process. Cause like normally I approach dating from a very different perspective. And so I go into it being like, this is what I'm available for. This is what I'm looking for. Are you interested? Yes, Chloe, no. Chloe gives you a, 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 a Excel right, sheet, a, a little uh -huh. Excel sheet. Yeah. Questionnaire, like, like at the doctor's office with the <laughs> clipboard. Yeah, let me, yeah. She's like, she I, only, let me send you the link. <laughs> <laughs> and then I also like, you know, I also ask about like penis size and all that stuff or I tell them to pull it out Oof. and see it. And so I didn't wait. Do any at of what those point things. is this? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> You can't just gloss over that like you're showing a used car in a showroom. How do you, how do, so, when so does like that come date, up? So like date, like date three or four, you know, it's probably going to be like a late night thing. Like, let's go get drinks. The next sure. thing you know, it's like two or three o'clock in the morning. Somebody's a little tipsy. If I'm in my car in their car, you know, you may start kissing or whatever. Like when you drop me home or if I drop you home and you get a little make out session on and you let your hand go down there and you just be like, let me see what you pull it out. Let me see. Oh, you did it. Oh, you did. She. I thought yeah. she said it. She said it like, "Yo, um." No, I have done that though. I've done that. Though. I've done <laughs> like, that. Like you checking up a basketball. Hey, yo. Let me let's go. I ask him. Yeah, because you know what it is. This is what I do, and I know it sounds like I'm a creep, but I do it when a guy starts to ask me sexual questions, like uh, date two, three, four, like when yeah. it's way too early. When they start saying like, "So, what's your favorite position?" I'll be like, "Well, how big is your dick?" Like that's my instant to be like, "I'm not playing." This now, game when with you, you say, "How big is your dick?" Then what's the answer, or do they? think you're just playing sometimes they'll sometimes they laugh like why are you wow are you crazy oh, and then when wow. i'm like and i'm like okay but no for real how big is it and when i when they realize <laughs> i'm not gonna change this i'm not gonna stop asking then they'll be like oh you know i'm a i'm a grower not a shower or all oh, seven a good respectable seven or they be like yeah i got you know 10 inches and i'm like all right because uh, chloe's a size queen yes We've, we've discussed this already. Yeah, Chloe's the size queen. Chloe's like, just, no less wow. than a what? No less than a what? I would probably say nine and a half. What <laughs> the fuck? That's wow. where she starts. That's your like, yes. that's your work that's, upwards fuck. from nine and a half. That's her, I mean, Mark, that's her Mark Norman. That's right like, there. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I could, I mean, as I've gotten older, I'll go down a little bit more. But, I mean, my bare minimum like absolutely not i would never go less than like seven and a half like it would have to be really girthy to make up for the fact that it's missing an inch and a half it's missing an inch and a half <laughs> you are you are a deficit young man i'm sorry you're a deficit you can i mean you would you have to just make up yeah, you have to make up in other ways, but also because of everything that's happening right now, like I definitely have to reevaluate my priorities because I could have a man with a big old dick, but he doesn't have any survival skills. So I need to like ah, measure. short dick, but you know how to make a fire. Not short. Definitely not short. I'll make my own fucking fire <laughs> before I fuck with a short nigga. So you're short, not relaxing at all. You, you, flirt, you, flirt, you can hunt short dick. Short dick nigga is... trying to make a fire in the in the in the drizzle. Never yeah. gonna happen. No. <laughs> No, I will, the, I will. the wood is wet. You know the niggas that could like, like touch, touch like animal shit and know where they they at. Like oh, uh huh, yeah, forty five. What if you could do that? But with a little dick. Like, I think I got good nostrils. I'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, what could we get? How could we get you into this little dick today, Chloe? We're trying to figure it out. Uh, he would have what to would be. He would have to be a, sh a sharp, a sharp shooter, like a sharp shooter. Ah, like American sniper, American yeah. hero. Yeah, you no. Know, I mean, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to amplify American Sniper. So let's just say Will Smith in uh in Dead I Am Shot. Legend. I Am Legend or the action film one, Suicide Squad. Yeah, Suicide Squad. Yeah. 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 So if he could, if he could shoot like Will Smith in Suicide Squad. <laughs> when Chloe perhaps. said he had to be a sharpshooter, I I thought it was a sexual term. Like right, right. this nigga just stick his little dick in in one spot and she just busts. Like, this nigga's a sharpshooter. That's really what I thought. I was like, boop. Like he just found the button. <laughs> He's just a sharpshooter. So that's how yeah. so that's how being in isolation has changed. Anything else changed from your perspective? Um, being uh, as isolated yeah. as you are as far as yeah. relationships? I would say, I mean, not necessarily as far as relationships, but I will say that this whole 
process of being in a house now for like 11 weeks if you're in your new york city pretty much everything shut down may 15th um has taught me to not procrastinate because there's so many things that i have wanted to do especially like in my house that i didn't get a chance to do like i want to throw out a bunch of clothes and books but it's like now i can't nobody's going to take this shit so now I'm, now right well you can't even do what you want to do yeah, you can't do what you want to do. So like that it made me realize like don't procrastinate on things because you don't know when that thing may be taken away from you. Yeah. That's a fact. That's and that's why Jeff Bezos is gonna be a trillionaire. Because any sense. you couldn't get nothing. Everything I mean, they was already killing it because anytime anytime you can invent something to, to make people lazy. So they could be lazy. That's that's the fucking gold mine. Yeah, that's I mean, but, and that's a, this is a good time to think about all of those goofy ideas that you laughed off because now you've got time to like make a prototype or do a yeah. little survey. Like, there's so many things that came out of like recession and hard times. So just think of something and maybe yeah. even if you just put it on Instagram and sell 500 of them, you made some money. Yeah, how's your how's your spirits with everything? Or are you just staying creative? Um, I know I would say now that it's been so long, I was definitely, I was definitely exhibiting signs of like depression, probably like the first month, but didn't yeah. know, like even month two, I didn't know that it was, it was a depression of like everything. I'm a planner. So everything that I planned, everything that I thought was going to happen is just out the window and mm. you don't have any control. And so okay because I felt like I had no control. I just like kind of surrendered to that. And I just would just be around the house. Like, I I mean, I, I always say like, I was functioning like on a normal basis, but I wasn't doing more considering as much time as I'd had. So like, so like, yes, I'll get up, I'll make breakfast. I'll wash the dishes, but I wasn't like rearranging my cabinet. So like, so when people was like, I did all of this. I'm like, shut the fuck up. Who like, (laughs) I'm eating graham crackers. Like, let me live. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. It, it, it was it was crazy. I think I think the other things like I I've been getting a, a shitload of consultations because you know they the domestic abuse is up and everybody's going, but it's it's almost, I mean I almost feel like because you you have a really high standard because you, you your your father loved you and all <laughs> he stayed and loved you so you <laughs> so you just you just don't want to be treated like a piece of shit. And uh, it, what happens though is I feel like, yeah. And I said this to you before. I said you're, you're like you're a person who's very self-sufficient, and you're always working on yourself to be better. Mm-hmm. And so, this, you're and you're not willing. I mean, you're on the mark. You're valuable on the market. Like just on on it, all, everything. All the checks are there. So you're not gonna put up with something less than what your standard is Mm -hmm. you might like you said i have my two dudes blah 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 but that it's like you even when you the hand movement was like i had them all the way over there (laughs) can you imagine if you had them dudes in your house like where you was quarantined with them for this amount of time it's like yeah and that's and i think that's the big thing i think uh you know harry asked me like what else did i learn i feel like a lot of times you allow yourself to tolerate nonsense for just the company or the entertainment but you know i didn't do that and i would always look at my friends and be like how the hell you just keep jumping into like a new thing with a new per like i don't i can't do that i can't jump into a full-fledged relationship or give someone that much time so easily like it takes me a while to make someone a part of my life but i'm so grateful that i didn't like have anybody just around to be in my space like i you i would have had somebody that somebody that you don't want in your spaces yeah is it somebody that you don't like that shit is crazy like I, and i'm getting so many calls because you realize so many people just settle because they just want somebody and they don't even like but the, but the fact that you have every day going on you can you you, you know you get out you go to yeah. the bar you go to work you this or you think so you that, have control you always say like oh i know i can leave when i want to leave but i you know yeah, i i'm yeah. i'm in control of the situation so i have them where i want them and it's like well now y'all in each other's face yeah, right, and uh, now it's ain't no faking that shit. Twenty four hours a day, every well, day. You wake uh, up, you go to sleep, and then you in New York, and you ain't. And it's not like you in the country or you in a mansion mm-hmm. where you could go. I remember, um, <laughs> I remember I was talking to Marina, and Marina, 
uh, had this dude, she was dating this dude who had a, like a condo and they had a fight. And he was like, "I'm listen, I'm going in the other room. And she, in the middle of the fight, she was like, you got another room? <laughs> like, <laughs> cause he, he, I, if you weren't isolated in New York City, all you could do is turn, start, like, I'm yeah. not going to look your way. So it's people are in their face, in your face, and but, they're, they don't like each other. The, the other mm-hmm. aspect is that people kind of settle real quick because for them, it's like, that's the thing to do. Like, I have to get married or whatever. And they just oh, go, yeah. like, this is my next phase in life. So if if it's they meet somebody within that window of when they're like, oh, I'm, you mm-hmm. know, I got to have kids at some point, they yeah. just settle down with somebody because, like, I have to hire somebody. They treat it like it's a fucking management position at, you know, yeah. like a McDonald's. We got to get somebody to fill this slot. Uh, but that's also how Chloe treats it. She she treats it like a job interview. That's so true. It's, it's like, but this way you don't have no incompetence. You don't get, I mean, we, if there's some shit like, okay, you get the job and everything looks good, but then you somehow you find out he's a serial killer, but that's not on the resume. You no, don't know that. Just... You find that out later. You could cut him off later. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I tend to cut people off pretty early. Like, I don't play that game of like, oh, I know all of these things and I'll keep going. Like, yeah, yeah. By, by by the third month of us date, like still dating casually before yeah. any conversation of exclusivity comes up, I'm like, yeah, it's not working out. And so I've done the last two guys that I like dated. I was the one that like cut them off. Yeah. Do they? What? How often do they still pursue? After you cut them off. Um, it's so funny because they were literally like the same personality, like alcohol, erectile dysfunction, early 40s, no kids, mom issues. And so you know how to pick them close. I know. <laughs> but, you know, I also realized that at the time when I put my mindset of saying, like, I'm going to date like a regular person, what I was doing was telling myself that I'm going to, I'm going to settle so I can have this process of dating someone versus uh, doing it the way I would normally do it. Right. Right. And like, you know, cause everybody's like, Oh, you're so, you're so tough. Like you just need to go with the flow and you just need to, you know, try it. It's like all of these things. And I, I was like, okay, I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm not going to ask him how big his dick is. I'm going to wait a couple months to try, you know, to have sex. I'm not going to, you know, like all the things that I was like. All the, all the Steve Harvey bells and whistles. Go ahead. I tried it and that shit failed me. I had two nut jobs back to back and I was like, oh, I'm never doing this again. Yeah. Because if you're confident and, and, and you know your value and you, you, you come out with the spreadsheet, uh, the only the nigga, like we going to find out, we're going to check your references. Like yeah. we going to know what's up. So it's like, you can't really hide it because you're up front. And it's like, and then, it, then it's not a personal thing because everybody gets the, they make it. Per, it's, mm-hmm. No, it's just, I, you fine. You just not what I want. You know, I, I just don't want you. Here's the, here's the list. You, there's too many empty spots. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for coming in. I mean, thanks for thanks for stopping in. We'll, we'll keep, keep your resume file. on file if anything yeah. uh, should open up. Yeah, and you know what? Most men don't like to hear that. They're no. all the the first one. Um, I just told him via um WhatsApp because I told him I was like, "Oh, just hit me later and we'll talk about it." He just kept, you know, like he was like, "No, what's up? Tell me now." Blah blah blah. And like, I was just like, "This ain't working out." And then he replied back to me something goofy and then i just blocked him but he still followed me on instagram um and then the second one um i thought it was like hey would you like let's let's get up we already like he already kind of felt that i was kind of like being cold i wasn't being super Mm. cold but over like the course of like four days i saw him be like really out of pocket and i was like oh i'm done so my body length you know my energy changed towards him so i was like hey let's um let's meet up next week let's you know grab a drink whatever he was like well if you're just gonna uh break up with me just tell me now i don't want to have to drive into the city but then after that that. but then after that one i told him that um he was like no just tell me right now so i just told him via text message where he wanted it and then like the week after he was like calling me like no let's meet in person i was like oh boy way i'm meeting you in person now he fucked it up chloe, that. chloe's face it says it all oof god yeah. damn if you yeah. ever if you ever see that face from any girl it's finished you're finished never good pack never your good bag situation 
back to back. I was a, I was that's like a, a menu and was saying to me. I remember menu would call me up and he was like, um, some girl he was dating at the time, not not his current. She was like, um, you know, I feel like we should have an open relationship because I'm interested oh, in yeah. girls. I know. Who you're saying, well. And I said, I said, nigga, pack your stuff. It's over. Yeah, because for someone to say that to you and they are in a committed relationship, they've been yeah. thinking that for a very long time. Yeah. And they yeah. and they and they ready to go. They just waiting. They don't want to be the trying asshole. To, they're trying to buffer to go. I go, yeah. I go, I never met no no girl who was into me who was like, you know what you need? Some more, more pussy. pussy. You need more pussy. I know, I know you like mine, but you should have more. You should explore. If that's going <laughs> on, that's nigga, that's the kiss of death. You that's like, oh, she's so detached. I mean, mm -hmm. like Chloe is regular. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever think, Chloe, Chloe, that you are too detached, that it's difficult? Like, I mean, you are who you are, but uh -huh. does it ever occur to you like, man, this is making it difficult. You My got any I goofy in you, Chloe? Um, I do have goofy, goofy me, but I will say this. I started going to therapy like last year. Uh, and I mean, it was definitely last year. Um, I started going to therapy last year and in, in our sessions, that's something I knew, but I want you to express it. Cause one thing about me is like, I can pinpoint all of the things in my life that made me who I am. So it's never like, I don't know why. Like I look at people like, what do you mean you don't know why? Like, you know yeah. why you just don't want to take yeah. ownership of your, like your participation or, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't want to have to relive it. So yeah. I was able to say because of the X, Y, and Z, I am this way. And like, I already know. And so a part of that was trying to say, well, I need to come to terms with those things or, or forgive myself or forgive other people so that I can, be who I want to be versus who I'm expected to be. And so when it comes to a relationship, it's like, I need to be able to communicate all of my shortcomings and all of my flaws and try not to be a savior and fix everybody. So it's a well, lot. Is of that, that you? Is, do you do you do that a lot? I, yeah, I'm a, well, see, I was the only child for a long time. I was the only child and I was bullied and I was insecure and I was chubby and overweight. And so I became resilient. It, be, it became like, well, I'll just do it myself. Like, I don't need your permission. I don't need to ask you if you would help me because you already, you guys don't like me. I don't have any friends. So it was just like, I'll figure it out. I'll just play by, by myself and make shit happen. So I am super independent, super independent. And that I realized is something that I have to work on, not necessarily undermine right, like right. my intelligence, but something I need to be able to like let go of the reins a little bit and let somebody leave. Do you, do, you, do you have that goofy in you? Have you ever been with a dude where you were kind of goofy about, like, like wide-eyed about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. He's yeah. actually uh, texting me right now. Oh, oh the new one. <laughs> no, no, not uh. new. My, my ex-boyfriend. Oh, from like 10 years ago. What is oh, what okay. is the form of goofy for you, Chloe? What would you what would just, be just a goofy being, moment? Yeah, just being silly, being vulnerable, like, yeah. you know, just not admitting to not for me, especially is like admitting not knowing something, you know, like sometimes you're like, don't you know, so and so and you're like, yeah, I know. I'm like, oh, yeah, I don't know. Like yeah. uh, the difference of being like, yeah, I don't know. Or mm -hmm. I said something, you know, like just being yeah. not trying to be perfect or in control. And just letting people know that I don't have all the answers. Yeah. Let your guard down. Yeah. Yeah. If you, yeah, but you got to know who you are. And if you, if you assess who you are and you really ain't shit, that's the scary thing. Like, cause you, you really start exploring this and then you, you realize that you're really not the person that you're telling everybody that you are. Mm -hmm. And then, so then people don't want to, you know, to look in that look down that side you gotta already know that you have value and you know that the the pluses way override the minuses i mean yeah. that's why that's why i'm fat now because i'm so great at everything else <laughs> I figure it doesn't matter. You got to have a oh, balance. Oh, yeah. Listen, uh, Dante, me too. Me too. Like, I'm I'm good at a lot of stuff. But when it comes to, like, my weight and working yeah. out and being consistent, like, like I can lose weight and then I'll be that way for a little bit. And then after mm. a while, I'm like, eh. And so. I'm already and, dope. And yeah. And I also, I also admitted this to myself. I said, the reason why I'm okay with gaining weight is because I know I can lose it. And so it's not about starting. Like I can start and I can meet the goal. It's mm. about staying there. That's the part mm -hmm. where I'm just like, uh. Yeah. 
Yeah, it is. It's it's difficult. It's difficult because you always there's the person that you you perceive yourself as that. Like the first time I did a, uh, I did that uh, years years ago. I did this reality show, and and uh, you know this was a time that. Uh, it was like a thing about bouncers, right? Uh, it was like a, a reality show, but we, this was early on in the reality show thing. So we actually, um, they filmed, like they didn't script it. It was like, they, we just got these clubs, got these gigs and we, and we just filmed all day and all night. And if any of the fights and stuff that happened were real fights, like we, yeah. you know, I knew if we stayed, till like four o'clock in the morning you get and then you kind of can push it further than you had to because when they wanted the violence because they kept saying they wanted fights and stuff like that but the biggest thing was them filming you and you perceive yourself as this point who's this person who's poignant and who's intelligent and and you know kind in the same sense and then all i remember when it was time for us to watch the the the, the sizzle I was scared to death because I was like, like, what if I'm not the dude that I thought I was in the first place? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna watch it and see it right now. And we, and um, like that was the scariest thing, just to just like, what do I do if none of the shit that I think about me is the truth? <laughs> you have two choices. You can either revisit what people thought or you thought about yourself, or you can buy into the lie and we see a lot of people double buy down into the, yeah they double down and then you and it's to, to the point like when they first double down you could look at them like you know you know you you know and Man. then like the more deep they get into it they just never break i hate that that's like how i feel about um black women who don't use bass in their voice i hate it i'm right. like you know you you know you act you're trying to do this with white people but we black. Do this, huh? code switching bitch. i didn't even see you code oh switching God. yeah <laughs> you don't oh, talk like that. yeah <laughs> Yeah, I was, I was, you know, you, you, you think about that and, and it's like all the shit that's all the stuff that's going on where we, we don't feel like we could be who we are. Right. And now with the air of all of the Trump shit and everything that's going on with that, you, you know, that how people are emboldened, but we need to not, we need to not ask for permission. Like, like that's what's happening. We're, we're asking for permission to be, you know, whoever we are like i like my my sister it was a it was a thing i was telling somebody the other day like every like black people have been fighting so long like it's never not a fight her her deciding to wear her natural hair mm -hmm. like in the 1990s like that was a question whether you could like you could not get the job like if you if you wore your natural hair, just think about that. Where some, where where you, they're basically saying what you got on your head ain't good enough. Yeah. yeah, you do something else with it. You know what? I read. I ran into a woman recently last year. I don't want to say where, but um, she was at the front desk and she had braids in her hair. And I had seen her before, and I was like, "Oh, your braids are nice." She goes, "Yeah, this is the one time a year um, I, I could wear braids in my hair. It's summertime because they don't really like me wearing braids in my hair." And it was like, that's the agreement they came to. Wow. This was, this why was does, 2019. Why does she not have a court case against them? She can sue the fucking business. I don't know why. You can't do that. You can't just decide to do that. You yeah. could do it covertly, but you can't. If that's the agreement, that's crazy. Or crazy. We should that hook is. up with the 1-800-LAWYERS. <laughs> First of all, oh, well, she probably... We all they all out of work now, so I mean yeah. what she's going for. One eight hundred abogado. Salino and or Barnes, which uh, either and one or of them. Barnes. And Get him on the on the fucking case. I don't it's just uh being self reflective is just it's so so important and yet something so people are so terrible at, I think, mm -hmm. for the most part. And they're just not I think it takes work, it takes some practice and people don't do it like i was reading some story do you hear that story about that football player dante who got what? who was in that uh he was like at an orgy or something oh yeah, with his, with with his brother. brother yeah Bug and, then, and then his wife showed up with a i think she had a a gun a gun yep. mm -hmm. and pulled it on on him mm -hmm. 
I think yeah. here, hold on, let me look it up because that and she, like, was she shoot him or no? No, she didn't no. shoot him, but but like how do you get to that point where there's so many so many lines? First of all, how do you get to the point where you're doing that in your marriage? But secondly, where you marry somebody who like again, it's that thing we talked about. Nobody just pulls out a gun. Right. The first nobody OJ don't cut a head off. Yeah, he first step. They work up to that point. He work up to the kid yeah. the head yeah. killer. He Here. she worked up to the point of having to break into his phone and she broke into his Snapchat accounts, found his location, got in the car with her gun, arrived there, got in. I don't, they don't say how, spotted him with his brother and other women, half naked or naked, and she pulled that thing out on him. But he drove her to that point. <laughs> yeah, well, let's, you know, let's let's be honest. Let's be honest. There ain't no Both. victims. There's only volunteers Both. like that. You know what I'm saying? If you, you know, like if you got to if, if you if you should you should do a e a e download of your spreadsheet like <laughs> and and sell your send your you can sell your spreadsheet so you know because if you you in a situation where this dude is 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 him and his his him and his brothers having orgies and this is like. Like there's no you ain't got no clue about nothing. This dude's in orgies with his brother. Yeah, I mean, but yeah, yeah. Uh, he's an NFL player, so you Let's know that brother's like, I want everything you got. Yeah. Well, that's the we weird part for me when I hear that story. I'm like, me and my brother don't do anything together. Yeah, <laughs> we don't spend no type of time together. Yeah, no quality time together, let alone. <laughs> Going to orgies. NFL star Earl Thomas is lucky to be alive after cops say his wife held a loaded gun less than a foot from his head after she allegedly caught him cheating with another woman. Uh, it's spelled out in the court documents. Uh, blah, blah, blah. The Austin police responded to a home in, in uh, Austin, Texas at 341 after they got a disturbance call. When they showed up, we observed that a black female wearing an orange sweater with a knife in her hand, later identified as Nina Thomas, was chasing a shirtless black male later identified as Earl Thomas with a wow. pistol in his hand around a vehicle. So he was like trying not to shoot her, which is the interesting oh, part. Oh, that's what He had a gun in his hand at first. And then so she, uh, pulled, she, she wanted to shank him up close. She wanted to look at his eyes. That's what it was. She wanted to see the life leave his yeah. cartel shit. But see, so here, I feel like I feel like if you want if you want to do harm, you would have done harm. Like, yeah. if she had the gun, she would she if she really wanted to shoot him, she would have shot him. She would. Yeah. Well, Nina claims uh, Earl thirty left their home earlier in the day after an argument over his drinking. She claims that Earl's brother picked him up. Uh, but a short time no, later, let's go to this orgy. <laughs> <laughs> Pick me up in five. <laughs> now, now that you say that, it makes me think that that fight was set up so we could get out of the house. Yo, you know, the niggas sure. grew up sleeping in it, the same what? bed. Yeah, it was like an Airbnb. I think it was like an Airbnb situation because this is also now during COVID. This happened during yeah. COVID. So oh, that, really? That, yeah. So this well, was like maybe the worst like, part about it. No, yeah, that's a lack like a of social ago. distancing. Exactly. It's like you are such a scumbag that yeah. you would leave this house with your kids and wife to go risk your life for some trim during COVID, you got to go. We ain't no yes. way we can, ain't no way we can stay so, together. You got to go. Marriage is over. So a short time later, she decided to check on his whereabouts by logging into his Snapchat account. And that's when she found a video. Of Earl, you with, Snapchat? <laughs> Earl with another woman, which I thought the Snapchat was supposed to delete all that stuff. Wasn't that the whole After fucking a certain amount of time? Uh, yes. Mm. He must have been uploading at a frenzied rate, though. <laughs> <laughs> so he was Snapchatting the orgy? I guess. Uh, Nina says she no, used Earl's no. Snapchat account to track his location to a nearby oh, yeah. Airbnb uh, rental. Uh, this woman is, uh, I mean, she's doing cross-reference. Yeah. She worked for the CIA. Uh, was, she would get the Pentagon the codes, the launch codes. She could change them so that Trump can't use them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she lo got his location a nearby rental home, Airbnb rental, and says she called up two other women to help confront Earl. Well, she got the, the posse too. Right, that's fucking funny. You know, one of her girlfriends, especially the one that fight a lot at yeah. the club, the one there's, that she could. There's a lot of eerie Tina, pulled out. Tina, I need you to come now. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> we, I'm getting ready to bust his ass. I'll be there in five minutes. She pull up with a, a Sonata. Uh, 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 
with a with a sonata. See, my thing is though, your friends don't roll with you unless they already know your nigga ain't shit. Like, yeah. that's not oh, the yeah. first. You, you don't the first yeah. time you call me about your man doing some goofy shit. I'm not putting on my slippers and running out the house. Right. Mm-hmm. It's but yeah. if it's on the on the it's on the it's getting bad. It gotta be where where she tell you the news and you go, he did what? Mm-hmm. That's yeah. when you go beat that nigga, uh, and then she gotta go again, again. again. <laughs> yeah, see, so, so, and then most of the time when we, when a woman like that rolls out for her friend, she really gonna beat the man up because she can't beat her friend up. Like she mad at uh, this bitch for calling now, her and giving yeah. her problems at but, three o'clock in the morning. I'm so far away from that lifestyle or that <laughs> lack of control <laughs> that I do not understand getting a phone call from your friend going. Hey, there's some shit go down at this orgy we got to take care of. And you go, say no more, fam. Yep. And then you're, <laughs> you're no more. in your car. Yeah. I got my car keys. I'm on my way. Yeah. I, a I friend of, card in uh, there was a while, a while ago. People would play this game. Not that long. Like in my adulthood where they would be at like a party and they would say, OK, you got to call your friend and ask for something crazy. And if your friend says yes, then you win like this yeah, round. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And so that's basically it. Like my best friend called me. She was like, yo, I need five hundred dollars. I need you to meet me at this place in two hours. I was like, all right, cool. But like <laughs> so yeah, you like uh, yeah. It's like some people, yes, but when it comes to your man, like if she was telling me about her man, I'd be like, Y'all figure that out. Yeah. But if you need to dump a body, yeah, I put my shoes on. Yeah. Oh, sure. but, I mean, <laughs> it's gotta be real bad for for her to roll out with the crew at the it's just like that's like that's so much. Like that's Let's so see. messy. It's like you could have just said no. Like yeah. you could have just said, nah, yo. I, I mean, I get it. You like, yeah, but you, this, and, your, this... you and your brother like orgies. Oh, it's cool. I'm just, I'm gonna step out. Cool. This yeah. woman, this woman is like, uh, I have the feeling that any friend who says no is not gonna hear the end of it. So you, get, it's better. <laughs> if she seems like such a chaotic person that you're like. I'll just go. Whatever it is, I'll go. It's better than <laughs> dealing with her being pissed that I did if it. If she's messy, she's messy all the time. Yeah, she also claimed, Nina also claimed she grabbed Earl's pistol, a 9 millimeter Beretta. She was thinking it didn't lock up his pistol? I mean, this there's a lot of me- there's a lot Listen, of uh, if she broke into messes. his Snapchat, she can definitely break into his gun safe. Yeah. Hell yeah. That bitch is fucking a ninja. Let's see. I, I I highly doubt this guy's so sloppy. I think that gun was just in a fucking old Nike shoebox. To be quite honest, I don't think there was any gun safe or with, with uh, like four, like five, six grand in a, yeah, in, in rubber with rubber bands on. In a like that. <laughs> just in a uh, Nike shoebox, the yeah, orange ones. Yeah. Uh, and so you know, I guess they have a little code like "Go get the Air Force Ones." Wink, wink. Uh, she also get my yes. uptown. Yeah. Okay, so she says she grabbed the pistol uh, with the intention of, to scare him. Well, mission accomplished. Um, when the woman arrived at the house, they discovered Earl and Seth naked in bed with other women. All right, good for them, I guess. That's then, so weird. That's that when, is weird. That is weird. Fucking like weird. You're like having sex next to your grown Yo, ass brother. brother. Them niggas. Them niggas is close. Yo, we <laughs> want. Yo, we no, family. No, they no, family. I wish- I wish I had a brother that we would be like at orgies. No, together. it sounds like they they need therapy. Whatever it is, therapy. they need therapy. Me and my brothers don't do anything. We can't even play a fucking game of football Fred, together. Nigga Fred, yo Fred, wild. yo man, thanks for inviting me to that orgy because it's like I ain't had nothing to do. Hey with man, this. come on, mm-hmm. who else? Who else was I gonna invite? Who to else, orgy? Jack? That's an unhealthy relationship. But most professional I athletes I have unhealthy relationships like that. I think it's a wonderful relationship. Two <laughs> brothers who love each other so much. Man, hey, yo, man, I want. I'm I, gonna I, hug you as soon as we get dressed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I don't want all this pussy to myself. Like, that That's would be selfish. Creepy, of me. Yo, you creepy. My, you my brother, man. You my brother. I'm like, well, yo, I figured it was all yours, so I didn't want to impose. Right. I mean, we both came from the same pussy. Why can't we right. see some together? Hey, if there's anybody I would be willing to accidentally touch dicks with, it's you, bro. Just oh, that's you. terrifying. That's weird. That's weird. That's really weird. It's, it's well, the, you know what it is? Yeah. It's the decadence. It's the downward slide. But you know, I mean, but you know, I feel like 
I don't know why I feel this way, but I feel like that brother is probably the bad influence because yeah, oh yeah, yeah. You, it's never the good person who's like, let's go have an orgy with some bitches and leave my wife that, at home. Well, <laughs> it's also, it's also, he's the brother that if he was having an orgy and he had the juice, he wouldn't, he wouldn't need to call ah. the, the, he wouldn't need to call the famous brother. Mm-hmm. He got the orgy together because of the famous. Of course, punching he's his the top But, but so maybe, maybe the football player Earl, he's like, listen, I'm good, but I can't handle four. I need some backup here. Who you got to call? I've you been there. To, you've been I've there. I've been there. I've been there. Yo, we <laughs> can't go this alone. We gotta never, wait for backup. And they never pull their weight. You take them, pull their put weight. them in the game. They don't pull their weight. Everybody needs to get fucked. I told them the ugly ones, the crippled. Everybody got to get fucked. You do they pull their weight? No. It's they been a while since you've told that story, Dante. Oh my it's been a while. The uh, Baker's, uh, the Baker's dozen. The dirty ba- We call it the dirty Baker's dozen. The dirty Baker's dozen. Explain to Chloe because I don't know if she's fully familiar with what it's, happened. With his smut past. Yeah. Smut past. <laughs> no, you're familiar with the smut past. I, I have no doubt about that. Everyone is, but this particular story. So the, the I don't know. Is, it's 1993. Oh my gosh! Whenever you <laughs> hear the year, down. you know Damn, you're about yo. to go down I was a ride. One years old. I get a call. There you are with your starter jacket. <laughs> there my my acid wash jeans and your three cuts and your eyebrows shine a while out. And my <laughs> gum, my Gumby and uh, well, actually I was the more Albie Shore my with my acid wash jeans with the leather trim and your eight ball jacket. I get I, I'm I'm at the time I'm driving around in my drop top 5.0. Right, pearl white, and uh, I decide that I'm going to Jack in a Box. <laughs> God, they don't have Jack in a Box here no more. Where the fuck were you at? In Brooklyn? That's what I, that's what it was a Jack, and it was one. It closed up late, so I get a call to do a strip show for some girl's birthday party at the Kennedy Inn, Kennedy Airport, um, uh, for some of the girl's birthday. It just, it's got the orgy smell on it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I go, man. Uh, the potent- that, it, that it could potentially yeah. be an orgy. <laughs> so was, like it, was it yeah. you and Not anybody little... else? Like how so many- it was me, and I called up my boy, Georgie Porgy and Yum Yum. I said, I think <laughs> this is going to jump off on some freak shit, and it's only me. And although I am more than many men, <laughs> I'm not 13. You know what I mean? I'm not yeah. 13. So yeah, like, a man's got to know his limitations. <laughs> exactly. So I called two dudes. We get there. It's 13 women in a suite, right? No, um, it was nobody's mama and auntie, just 13 girlfriends. No, you know, it was 13 girlfriends. Okay, because oh there's always an auntie somewhere where you got to be like, all right, y'all ready when, to go. But you know what? <laughs> when you say it like that, that's how I kind of felt that it was it was a, a jump off. Yeah. Because you wouldn't you'd be like, no, auntie, it's just gonna be young. It's gonna be and then we go to the club and we can't take you home before we go to the club. Girl, I I go to the club. No, mm. no auntie. So it's a double suite. They put us in one side of the suite. When I go, I, I, I said, Listen, I got two friends with me. It's gonna take me time to get dressed. Why don't y'all that my two dudes will warm up, right? And you and and they uh warm up. <laughs> It's so funny, it takes you a long time to dress as a stripper. but Yeah, and I didn't win. All I wore was loincloths anyway, which was ridiculous, right? But I did have to I did have the baby oil down. I had to oil up. so uh, and, and I had to build my headdress. So it, but uh, so the, uh, the, the... Your stripper name, of course, being... Prince Mandingo, of there course. Uh, so the, the dude, I, I, they were in the thing. They say, sure. I said, just make sure you tip them. You know, they'll do it for free, but just tip them nice. So uh, I, I get them in the room. I said, listen, well, this is going to jump off. Uh, no, I go in to ask them that. When I go back in the room, they're all in lingerie. Who, the women? The women. They ch- we, we changed. They changed. They were in full fishnet body suits. Uh, crotchless panties, thigh highs, and garters, wow. and all kinds of shit. There right? was there was definitely like two smut wranglers in them. Thirteen women. Yeah, there it was, was they, there was somebody be like, trust me, this happens all the time. Yeah, it was <laughs> smut and, and what, was this, what was this party for, Dante? What was it? It was event? a birthday party. All right. Okay. This big bitch named Regina. 
right? <laughs> and she was not really attractive. And, and it was her birthday. It was her birthday, right? Oh boy. So I go in the room and I'm like, I'm like giving everybody the pep talk. I go, look, we go out here. You gotta know, you gotta do your whole set. Don't don't shortcut. Don't do your whole show and then you work the crowd. And then and then, and I go, and if this jumps off, everybody has to get fucked. <laughs> I go, you can't just go with the dime piece and rock out with the dime piece or the, you know, or the dime piece in a friend. I go, everybody's got to get hit. If you don't, put, I said, you understand me? I go, you don't pick and choose. You got to, everybody got to get hit. This is, this is like, as the boat is approaching the beaches of Normandy, <laughs> that you're I'm trying, trying to, to give a talk. D-Day. Yeah. Yeah. So here's, so they like, yes, I know you men are scared. And I know you got to fill in your stomach. But, but just listen, know what we do today will live on forever. <laughs> <laughs> so they're yesing me to death. I go out, put their all in the line. I put the, the tape, the dude's tape in. He comes out, right? He does a half a turn. He's a, he was a titty guy. Loved big titties. He saw this girl with like triple E titties. And she had a full length fishneck crotchless uh cat suit right he turns does a thing sees her bang right between the titties right and he's no dance moves nothing he's just in the titties <laughs> and he's in the titties in the titties in the titties i'm in the room going what the fuck is he doing i told him to do his whole set why is he at least letting us down i was like like a, a, i was like look you go out there i'm gonna put your music on do your whole set do your whole set don't leave you all three records because you want to it's like the foreplay you took you took off your headphones and you threw your clipboard on the ground <laughs> I threw my on shit down and kicked over the gatorade right <laughs> <laughs> i grabbed my his, his helmet and i was like oh, you understand me you got you do your whole set he goes out this is this yum one, yum or georgie georgie goes out this is one chick like the like like Apollonia. It was 1994. <laughs> Apollonia was so like, shoot, shoot, shoot me. Right? <laughs> and <laughs> and she, she, he sees her, bang, right to her, grinding on her, whatever, whatever. He's, he starts fucking her. I'm like, like, song one? Song one. Song one. Goes down on her. He's going down on her. Now, where's Yum Yum? Still sucking the titties. <laughs> Still there sucking the titties. So I'm like, oh my God, it's, it's left up to me. I go out and I do my whole show and I'm back flipping and climbing on the chairs and the couch and climbing over. I'm tiptoeing. I mean, pick a girl up. I put her on the ground. I grind. I roll backwards, roll up on this other girl's, put, do a handstand, drop my balls into the, on her forehead. I'm just doing it. It's hot. Whatever. I'm on the thing. I got one girl on the couch, right? I'm on my last song. I'm hitting this one girl. I got fingers in two girls. And a girl stands up, puts a fucking bush, because it was the 90s. They didn't <laughs> shave then. Put the bush in my face. And I'm, a, and I'm doing this, right? I'm exhausted. The lights go out. It's a pile of bodies. You call, climbing over everybody. You climb. Boom, 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 like five pumps, and you just move on. Ask me That's where Yum Yum is. Ask me where Yum Yum is. Where's Yum Yum, man? The... Where's Yum Yum? In the Triple E's. Still in the fucking Triple E's sucking titties. Ask me and where whole time just sucking Georgie's titties. behind the couch with the, with the hot girl. He finishes up, goes on the, sits on the thing, and some girl jumps on him, starts riding him. So, but nobody's pulling their weight here, my point. Nobody's pulling my way. That if I'm, if I do my math right, that still leaves ten other women who need to be satisfied. Well, no, he had. Well, they each had one, and then you had four. Four. So and that then means... I'm climbing over, and I'm bumping like as I'm climbing on this pile of shit, right? I'm piling up five pumps, and then I just climb right. So out of the thirteen, right, I at least got five pumps out of eleven out of thirteen. And the, and they and your homies only stayed with the one woman each. One with two, and one with one. Mm, 
did they did they hang out after? Did they get married? Like, I mean, they no. definitely gave up. No. Then, so, but here's what happened. Because nobody was pulling the weight, everybody was in this freak mood. Then one girl gets up, she goes in the bathroom, and you can see the the light from the underneath mm-hmm. the, the, the bathroom and you can hear because you know it's like I didn't come here for this and, uh, now I fucked her and the girl she's talking to but now all of us say that I didn't come here for this shit these bitches are, blah, 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 blah. then somebody else goes in it's three girls and then it's four girls and, blah, 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 and it's like whoop, lights go on shut down and that's why everybody has to get fucked Cody. Oh, I, listen, listen who you talking to you know I know Got it, got it, it's got to I mean, be on. All it takes, no, all it takes is one, one person who nobody wants to fuck up all the fun. They'll go down all to the, the front fun. desk at a hotel, and be like, "Oh, y'all should know they having a party up there." Yeah, <laughs> they, they put the address out on the fucking chat line. Yep. Oh, I've been, I've been in those situations. It's just take one, one ugly person that nobody wants will fucking ruin everything. They never start a fire. Oh, they don't oh you're shit. not gonna fuck me. I'm gonna fuck you. Ah, look. <laughs> Nobody. How did she end up? Now. I mean, they just turned the lights on. One of the turned girls the just turned on, the lights everybody on. Everybody just goes, got dressed, and they, I got paid for my fucking set, and then we went home. And then I berated them on the car ride. All I told y'all niggas, everybody's supposed to get fucked. We would still be mm-hmm. there if you niggas. And they was like. What was their they reply to that? Tips. They what were young. Their... They didn't know better. They was just, yeah, I was young yelling. And they, I was yelling at them and they were just like looking down, like really that I was disappointed in them. You were yelling at them like the great Santini. <laughs> like, did, they, did, they, did they learn the error of their ways after that point? Did you ever call them again for a heavy No. List? They were in orgies with me, but not because I called them. It was because purely it, circumstantial. They happened to be, it just happened to be around. They so is to... that so do you think that was just like the unknown like the unspoken thing like if you hire male strippers you're gonna get some dick no i mean there was a lot of dudes that was uh, there was a lot of dudes that was fucking but a lot of dudes like i like if i i didn't like i would never like do a show and stay there and hang out with some chick because the, they paid you for the fantasy mm-hmm. so the minute you when they fuck you they stop paying you and if they could, and if they could claim that you fuck you, then they just really they gonna go Got to the it. next one. So it's like, why would you? I mean, you fuck this nigga, you gonna have this nigga dance for you? Gonna be like, nah, I wanna go. Let me get another one. That's how I feel about a nigga who is a personal trainer. Like, once we fuck, I'm not paying you to <laughs> train me. That's well, fucking your funny. Mind. You're out of your mind. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, I have more. Hold on, I got more on this me. to wrap this story up. This yeah. other thing with the because I'm reading more on this. Um. So okay, That's so she funny. shows up at the thing and uh, uh, she shows up basically like waving her gun in the air, right? Uh, I just don't care. She pulled the gun out, put it to Earl's head, s- stating that she took out the magazine, thinking that the gun could not fire, which is a rookie mistake. Because you got one in the chamber. You got one in the chamber, but she don't know that. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So she would. She thought the gun was not loaded. She says, or whatever. She right. Pull the trigger. Uh, it had a round in the chamber. Cops say that one of the other women in the house shot cell phone video of the incident, which they say shows Nina pointing the gun at Earl's head for less than a from less than a foot away, and it can be clearly seen her finger is on the trigger with the safety <laughs> off, disengaged. <laughs> uh, Fortunately for him, uh, Earl was able to wrestle the gun away from her. Uh, the cops say the video also shows Nina striking Earl in the nose before it ended, uh, adding that Nina she repeatedly hitting him. Uh, in the interview with Earl's alleged, alleged mistress, she claims Nina also threatened her and other women in the house, pointing the gun at them, yelling, I got something for all you hoes. <laughs> Fair enough. Now, let me ask, uh, like Denzel let me ask you something, Chloe. Yes. If the, there's a, a, bu- a bullet in the chamber, um, now, I know I don't know if you have a law degree, but you look like you would play somebody on a sitcom that does. Mm. So if it's a, 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 a bullet in the chamber, is it attempted murder or a manslaughter? It would have been it would have been premeditated murder. 
Because, because even though she thought that it, it wasn't. Oh, no, you yeah, because to. she thought because she thought ahead enough. She she did all those steps. Uh, but she would knew, it be like second degree murder? Because getting his friends. Yeah, it was. It would have been because you know if you watch any of those like Dateline shows, it's like in the courthouse they be like she went there knowing that she was going. You know, so yeah, yeah it'll be premeditated. That that's my that's my legal database is Dateline <laughs> being like what did the, what did the lawyer say in that episode? <laughs> After speaking with everybody, cops ultimately arrested Nina and both members of her posse. Uh, and not the brother. Not the brother. No, even again. Earl wasn't arrested. Oh. He was yeah. not charged with anything because he technically wasn't see, breaking any laws. But see, this is how you know their relationship is fucked up because he could have said, you know what? I'm not pressing charges. And she, we, baby, let's go home and figure this out. But he oh, didn't he, do that. He, he didn't do that. He had her arrested. She got arrested. I don't know that. I think at that point. No, if it's a gun, you, I don't think he could yeah. say, nah, we good. When the cops. Nah. It's his gun. It's a weapon. It's his gun, though. He, yeah, officer, she, that's my gun. This is my wife. We're having our dis a dispute. Also, there were other people yeah, in the house. Yeah. I'm sure some of the uh, the quote unquote hoes were not drove. Yeah, up but if charges. he was a if he was a real man, he would have said, listen, you my mistress. If you want to stay on a whole payroll, keep your fucking mouth shut. I'm gonna go home, take care of my wife and I'll see you here next Tuesday. Some straight pimp shit. We got to end the show on that. <laughs> That's how it should end. Uh, Chloe, plug your shit. What's going on? Your book and the podcast and the, bam. Uh, Hold okay, up. Let's see the, mind. we got to see the whole thing. Fuck your diet. Yeah. Fuck your diet and other things my thighs tell me. Here, I'll take my own background out so you yeah, can you see. Yeah, you have to take the background out how's so you the, can see the cover. How's it selling? It's doing pretty good. It's, yeah. I have it behind me and right Chloe, there you're well. another one who has a nice background. Like, that's a beautiful apartment. You don't need to put the I fucking know. palm trees. But that's the thing, though. I use it on so many things. I'm trying to make people think I have a bigger house. <laughs> <laughs> really big. It's how yeah. you have a whole ocean front. Right, exactly. But yeah, this is my book, Fuck Your Diet and Other Things My Thighs Tell Me. It's available everywhere. And I also recorded the uh, audio. Nice. Oh, it's well. nice. And it comes out in paperback in January, but get the hardcover so you can beat Who, somebody in the head if they act up. I'm going to get, I'm going to do the download. Now I can yeah. read your book because I'll do that. All right, let's let Chloe get out of her used up corner that she keeps <laughs> doing podcasts from. <laughs> let me get back to my virtual background. <laughs> <laughs> Dre. Yo, just uh, Instagram, Andre D. Thompson, Twitter, Andre D. Thompson. That's all. Hit me up. Yeah. Or you can find him on Don't Do Mushrooms when we're recording. Yo, podcasts. nigga, you was you... baked. I didn't want to <laughs> well, say nothing. I was like, uh, well, damn. The point where you started clipping your nails and I had to switch and the, the camera. camera. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw that? Yeah, motherfucker, you're on camera. What do you mean? Listen, Andre, you better you better get your shit together. You know how many other unemployed comedians are sitting in the house with a motherfucking webcam? You better get your shit together before Dante replaces you. See? You're right, you're right. He looking at you like he about to count the five. He about to do you that know, Ike five on you. Five, five, five. <laughs> five. Andre, five. Andre <laughs> I can say this very certainly. You'd be really fucking useless at an orgy. You'd be good for nothing, man. For sure. Can't be relied upon. I feel like morale. I could be like, y'all could do it. Y'all good. No, you know he saying? would be there talking. He'd be there talking to the bitches like, so you really think this all you deserve? Like, you too beautiful to be here. Like, we should go <laughs> out to dinner. I'm a dinner. Meanwhile, uh, nah, Dante he ain't just, buying dinner. Just be like, thrusting yo, away. He'll be, I'm thrusting away and Andre's going, Andre's court. going, yo, um, this is, yo, this place is nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is, you got any snacks in your bag? Yeah. Exactly. We got to eat the food at. Y'all go ahead and fuck. I need coupons. Yeah. Need no, you be like, oh, so you getting a nursing degree? Wow, that's crazy. I that's love nurses. Crazy. I'm going to hit them with so many that's crazy. That's how you know you don't give a fuck about the conversation. <laughs> that's crazy. That's yo. crazy. All right. You are in. Carrie, talk to me. Um, you can check out all the stuff we're doing now on the Man School 202 YouTube page. This episode, uh, current episodes, past episodes, they're all going to be up there. You can see uh, Dom Andre's different virtual background he does for every show. Um, and terrible. also, uh, so, you know, please subscribe to that page. We're going to be uploading exclusive clips. We're going to be doing exclusive shows on that page, too. Uh, and whatever happens, it's going to happen there. And also, uh, look out for the Patreon because that's I'm launching that within the week. Okay. Uh, 
uh, the also, uh, y'all, make sure y'all check out DanteNewer.com. I know if y'all are locked up with your significant other, you got problems. Call me and book some uh, time. Go to DanteNewer.com. Click consult and uh, you can book time with me. Uh, also, the merch page, the, the band school logo, that should be up within the next two weeks. So look for that. GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted. I love y'all. If you like what we're doing, tell somebody, tell somebody. Follow Chloe, that's my girl. Um, buy her book. And yo, we are out. Love y'all.